rate for this, but I mean, we can do that too, if you would like. Okay, so for homework purposes, Excel, yeah, I, I would like to see that, but like for test purposes, I, I would have to use a, a a calculator, but you're saying it's not good for calculators. Well, it works. It's just it's just not great for learning. I mean, it's just yeah. So, um, so here here is the uh, the graph from Excel. Um, this is what the data looks like. So you can see it's going up and to the right. So there's a there's a a positive linear correlation between x and y. Okay. And can you show me how you did that? Uh, sure. Please. Thank you. All right. So in Excel, you just put X and Y data in, and then uh, the, the, the um, you go to insert and you choose the charts, scatter. There it is. And we're going to stay right here because of the the uh, the next questions that it wants. Okay. Um, you'll see in part B it wants the uh, the correlation coefficient. There, if you look on your side. So to do that, there's actually a built-in function. Uh, it's called correlate corel, and you just grab the data and hit enter, and it'll give you that that number there. So it's point nine nine seven seven is the correlation. That's the third option. I am snipping those into the notes as well. So for question three, you need the slope and the intercepts. So we're gonna do this slightly differently. Um, let me just move this over. This is correlation. We'll do slope and the intercept. So the slope, there's actually a built-in slope function. And there's a built-in intercept function. So it, it's kind of like when the car mechanic charges you $200 to tighten a screw. It's it's like, well, it's it's nice to know. You have to know this stuff to be able to do it quickly, kind of thing. Um, so in terms of your equation, it's uh, y equals mx plus b. And your slope, your m, is 4.51. And your b is 33.70. So that corresponds to option B. We'll go back to the other screen now. So just to be, you know, just to be clear here, I did, I did, I did, uh, you know, we, we found that R, that's the correlation. And then for, for three, we found the slope and the intercept. It's this second equation here. Any questions up from for four? No. Okay. So four is using the equation that we just found. So the the halves you want to buy are twelve weeks old. What is the least squares healthy weights? So they're saying x is twelve. So you're putting twelve in for x. Four point five one times twelve plus 33.70, and you get some output, which will, uh, you can grab your calculator for that if needed. Go ahead and grab mine. So 4.51 times 12 plus 33.7 ends up being uh, 80, 88. Seven, 88, yeah, 88. So it's that it's that fourth option there. So go ahead and check those, see if there's any issues. Um, okay, let me go on there real quick. But I think you have to shrink the screen or something. I'm sorry, what? The screen, how do I? Because it's like taking over the computer. So hold on. Oh, hold on one second. I just want to exit full screen so you can get back to answering your answers. Oh, there it goes. Okay, sorry. Let me see that little thing in the corner. 
Okay, so positive correlation and 997. So it's the third one. And then option B, 975 and 100. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. All righty. Yep. Yep. That's Whatever it. Ready to finish it. You're not, is that all for today? That is it. It was a short one. All right. Sounds good. For sure. Yeah, that's it. So, right. um, okay. So I'll...